Let's talk about soft futurism and the future of work. I'll be honest, I have struggled with the concept of futurism, which is why I made up the term soft futurism. A simple definition of futurism, just plain old futurism, is studying how social, tech, and environmental advancements will influence how people will live and work in the future. The problem for me is that futurism always felt kind of passive. It felt like it wasn't meant for me. It felt like it was for someone else who's really building the future. For better or worse, when I thought of futurists, I imagined some VC bro dudes wearing Patagonia vests deciding on which companies to invest in that would actually make the future happen. It didn't really feel like a table that had a seat for me because I was just working on my small business, doing my own thing. Futurism felt too passive for me. It felt like other people got to be active and I just had to wait and see what happened. So I just decided to create a new definition for myself, soft futurism. I've fallen down the rabbit hole of soft living and I love it. Most of the books that I've read lately relate to topics like rest, creativity, and slow living. After six years of plugging myself into the machine of hustle culture, it feels really good to take a break. Hustle culture just never worked for me. Soft living feels so much better. It's slow, it's gentle, it's holistic, empathetic. It's a lifestyle of high comfort and low stress, which I feel like we could all use a little more of. So then I started to think, how can I take soft living and bring it to the future? And then I wrote two words on a post-it note, soft futurism. First, I had to define what soft futurism is because it was just this new term that I was kind of just making for myself. And I had to figure out a way to set it apart from like the hustly bro culture vibe of what I thought futurism was. So here's what I came up with. Soft futurism is a way of looking at the future from a more holistic and inclusive perspective. It's a fresh take on the future. It's one that's less about being tech obsessed and more about understanding how people might interact with the world around them in the years to come. Soft futurism is a belief that the future will be better if we build it with empathy, joy, and connection. That sounds kind of nice, doesn't it? I want to be excited about the future, which is why I had to create a term that helps me relate to it. I really want to believe that the world will be a better place in 2030. That does not mean that I am trying to unplug from the now. And I don't even know if you can see it, but the power of now is staring daggers at me on my bookshelf. Instead of trying to like fast forward from the now, I'm trying to take the now and think about the future that I want to help build. Soft futurism is my way of feeling connected to the future. I want to be an active participant in building a world that feels the way I want to feel. Slow, gentle, empathetic, holistic, high comfort, and low stress. So that means that I can create products and services that help bring soft futurism to life. I can read books that help me learn about building the future future that I want to live in. I can also notice things that don't fit in my model of soft futurism and choose to remove those from my life. I want to lead the future of work. The concept of work is in dire need of a refresh. And this is a topic for another day and another video. I could really talk about this for a long time. But for now, I'll say this. The concept of work can be so much better than whatever the hell it is right now. It can be fulfilling and magical and full of creativity. The future of work, I truly believe, is independent, empathetic, creative, abundant, personalized, working less, and earning more. I believe that the future of work is this culture of really highly passionate and creative people making things. And I don't just mean physically making things, I mean actually making new structures, making new systems, just making things. How will that look exactly? I don't know. I honestly have no idea, but it's possible and it's coming so much faster than we can imagine. So you might be asking yourself, how can I incorporate soft futurism in my life? Well, like most philosophies, soft futurism is a lot about asking yourself questions. So 
I made a short list of questions that you can ask yourself. Bonus points if you want to journal on these. They're great journaling topics. Soft Futurism asks questions like, how will people feel in the future? How will tech social and environmental changes affect our culture? What will be our core values in the future? How might new trends affect our values, beliefs, and behaviors? How can we use empathy to build the future? Most importantly, I encourage you to become more comfortable with the idea of the future. Think about the future world that you want to live in. Then ask yourself, what products can you build? What services can you offer? What businesses will be needed to build a softer future? And then do that. I would love to know. Drop a comment. What do you think about the concept of soft futurism? Is it something that you can get behind? And please like and subscribe. I am super new to YouTube, but I'm having so much fun sharing my ideas and mostly sharing my journal thoughts. I would love to hear what kind of videos you'd like to see in the future. Thank you.